there's a lot going on at the moment. Um, my car is currently getting a wrap, which is to follow in a second. Um, so I've got a hire car. Could have chosen a few different hire cars, um, but decided to, you know, inevitably go with the Golf. Um, hopefully get a different one tomorrow. So we've got the facelift, the facelift Golf R. Um, having the YouTube channel, doing the reviews, the reason why I started doing the reviews was, one, I wanted to not reinvent the wheel. You know, there's plenty of YouTubers who have done the Golf R. I think it's one of the most searched things on YouTube, actually, Golf R. Um, but I wanted to do things which were specifically that I wasn't able to find. So how does it compare specifically to like, for instance, a stage two car? You know, the stage three cars, the stage two car, the stage one, how do they all compare? Especially right across the MQB platform. It's really surprising, really surprising how much of a good car this is compared to the Mark 7. The Mark 7 is a fantastic car. I, I've got a Mark 7. I love the Mark 7 R. It's a great car. But this, this just raises the bar just a little bit. Arguably, arguably, this in its standard form, with its 18 inch alloys, you know, without the, you know, the leather seats and you know, all the gubbins that go with it, it's just a pan roof and the reversing camera, etc, etc. I don't think there's a reason to tune this car. Did I say that out loud? It's such a capable and competent car. And that's against the Mark 7. So this is a 7.5 or facelift Mark 7. It's a much better car than the Mark 7. The Mark 7 is a lovely place to sit. We'll, you know, we'll get some shots of the inside in a minute. You know, the Mark 7 is a lovely place to sit. But the Mark 7 just elevates it a little bit. This digital dash, love it. The plastic bits that have been removed from around the, the centre console, love it. The gearbox, wow. It begs a question. Well, why was this not the car that came out in the first place? It's that good. Other than that, what do we have? Well, it's same old, same old. You know, the steering, the steering is fantastic. You know, I don't go into the cubby hole business. I, I, you know, there's, there's, there's car wow that does all of that stuff. Um, but in terms of driver feel, well, it's pretty similar. Pretty similar to a Mark 7 in regards to how it handles the bumps. Interestingly though, very, very interestingly, I've always been sort of, you know, big alloys, big brake discs kind of guy, you know, everybody's life depends, you know, moulds them in a particular way, which makes them want particular things. These 18s though, you know, I know 19s for show and 18s for go, yeah, right, 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 but these 18s, it just makes it feel more nimble, more agile, more, well, I wouldn't quite say go kart eh? but, you know, when you put your foot down, there's, there's, there's no, it doesn't feel like it's dragging its feet at all. A compromise to that, however, when you are throwing this thing around corners, Inevitably, that's happened a little bit. Doesn't like it. Doesn't like it. That might be a combination of, you know, not having the bigger brakes and the wider track. But you are dancing, and you, you know, you have to take your foot off momentarily just to allow it to compose itself. It's a fantastic system. The Haldex. It is what it is.
have one of these over a Mark 7. If I was on the market to buy a Mark 7 Golf R, I'd probably stretch that extra little bit to get a facelift. Having got the Golf 7, would I get and go up to a Mark 7? Maybe if I was on lease and it came up, but no, not in my position where I've you know, actually bought the car. No, not a, not a chance. But it is a better car, and VW should have done this to begin with. Because if they had, maybe I wouldn't have started tuning my car. But it is what it is, and we're on a journey. So, overall, yeah, I like it. Thanks for checking the video out. If you like what you've seen, hit subscribe or leave a comment in the comment section. And I promise I will try and get back to you. Thanks very much.